In the video from today, I want to show you number one, how you can create a style for your subtitles in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. And number two, also how to save those styles of subtitles as a preset. Because I got this question from Adrian just a couple of days ago. Hey Daniel, please help. How can I create subtitles from audio and stylize them? And I don't really know how to do that and save that as a preset in the future. Because on the PC version, there's actually those three dots. I want to show you that right now. When you are coming to DaVinci Resolve on the desktop and you click here on your subtitles, then you will see that you have here in the inspector those three dots. And if you click them, you can actually save them as a preset. So whatever you did here. Wait a second, I will explain you how this works and what is the workaround on the iPad version currently. Number one, how you can create those subtitles. So I created a test project here. And if you have never done subtitles, very straightforward here on the color page, you can click on this icon, create subtitle from audio. It can even recognize the audio. Here's English. And then we even have caption presets. And I was even looking into that if I could somehow access this database and I hope we can have access in the future to that because that would be the easiest way. At the moment we have the default, Teletext and Netflix. So there should be a possibility to add this to this one but I couldn't find this right now. So I, I choose Netflix now, I say create. Now it's analyzing my timeline. This is just a short timeline and then it will create the subtitles for that timeline. When it creates a subtitle it also creates a new subtitle track and if you click any of those subtitles this is not a title, but it's a subtitle. It's a different kind of format. You can come here into the inspector. And the first one where I was looking was obviously on the captions and you could customize captions and every single one change something. Like here you could change the color from one word that works. I would just show you how this works. If I, for example, select that one, I could now even change the color just for that word. And now you see just the color from that one word was changed. But this is not what I'm talking about today. Let's remove this one. You can come back here to track. And if you change that, oh yeah, by the way, why? Because when you activate this, this is just for that one subtitle, this, this one specific one, if you want to individually change something, but that will not apply to the other ones. And how you can apply a style to all of your subtitles is the second way. So we go back here, not customize, we go to track. And on the track, you can now change whatever you want. You can change the color, for example. Let's do this. I can even create drop shadow. I could make a drop shadow. I can include a background. I don't like the stroke. Let's remove the stroke and so on and so on and so on. So you stylize your whole subtitles. And now if we look here through the subtitles, all of the subtitles are in the same way. And if you do exactly that, now I'm coming back to my Mac, I did exactly that. I have here everything changed. And now what you can do to save the preset on a Mac, you open the inspector, you select a subtitle, and then you come here to the three dots and you can say save track as preset. If you do that, you can give it a name. I already did this. And when you come back in here again, you will see this even here. I gave it the yellow subtitle preset and now I could load that preset. So I could open a different project, come up here to the three dots and then load a different preset. You just have to make sure that you always click a subtitle track and then the three dots will actually represent the subtitle presets because I show you something. If you come in here to the video track and you click something in the video, you still have have the three dots but now the options that you have here is something completely different this is now for reset video reset audio and stuff like that it's completely different it changes always depending on what you click in the inspector so we are here at subtitles and if I click the three dots I can make a preset so now let's come back to the iPad the problem is and this is also number one why I make this video today I want that black magic knows that we don't have those three dots and in the past every time when I figured out something here on my YouTube channel by the way I'm Daniel and this YouTube channel is all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and figuring out hacks and tricks and tips. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So in the past, I always had the option to, for example, come into the shortcuts menu. If it wasn't visible in the UI, I could find a shortcut and give it a shortcut. But the problem with those three dots is, let's jump back here. The problem with all of those three dots, we have those three dots over like in many places in DaVinci Resolve. We can't have any shortcuts for them. So that means I cannot access this through the shortcuts. So this is not possible to open at the moment. So this was number one. I wanted that Blackmagic knows that, that this is basically missing. Like even here, even if you come into the edit page and you would now think about, yeah, what about maybe in the edit page? No, I don't have the three dots here either. So, and we officially only have the cut page and I don't have it in the cut page as well. So I can't create a template. So, but there is a workaround 
it's a little bit an older workaround, but it works on the iPad. So what you could do is now you could create all of those settings that we did and you save now a complete project as your template. So what do I mean? You come back here into the project and for example, duplicate this project here, copy, and then you paste this and you give this now a complete new name, template, subtitles, yellow, whatever, however you want to name this. So now when you come into this subtitle and you open that one, we will just make sure that the other stuff is gone. So the way it works now is you come into this template and you just remove all of these. You keep the subtitle one because we made all of our changes here in subtitle one. So now we can come back in here and just recreate the subtitle from audio, create and voila, because it now creates this on the subtitle track one, it also has the style that we decided that we want. So this is the little bit of workaround at the moment, but at least you can save it and you don't have to do it over and over again. You just have to remember that you actually open when you now want to do subtitles, you open a project with this and put in your videos in here and then you have the subtitles there. And for Blackmagic, I hope that in the future, maybe in a future update, you bring back those three dots so then we can just do the same like we can do on the desktop to save those presets. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I have a complete masterclass from beginner to pro where I teach you everything, all the bells and whistles, because there's so much power that you can have here in DaVinci Resolve even for the iPad. So if you're new to that, you should definitely check out the link here in the description. I'm Daniel and if you liked this video, if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.